When we think of those artists in the 1930s, commissioned by the Works Progress Administration, or WPA, we think of the big names, Diego Rivera, Mark Rothko, Jacob Lawrence, and Philip Guston. But there were hundreds of artists who did amazing work, and it was definitely not an all-boys club. I am Robert Aubrey Davis, and my Around Town Best Bet is artwork, women printmakers of the WPA at the Baltimore Museum of Art. From 1935 to 1942, the WPA offered employment to millions of workers affected by the Great Depression. Then in 1943, the General Services Administration entrusted almost 1,000 prints to the Baltimore Museum of Art for curation and care, and many of these works were by women. The topics reflected the concerns of many, but particularly women. The hidden labor we often take for granted, labor seen and unseen. The changes in technology and the way society is structured entertainment and leisure, and most particularly, the threat of the rise of fascism. These women captured the human faces of industrial and domestic labor and its inherent racial, gendered, and class inequities, while they used their art to support important reforms led by the era's growing communist and socialist movements. We can contrast, for example, Margaret Lohengrin's ordered image of men loading bricks with Ida Y. Abelman's more frantic and yet poignant child labor. So delve into artwork, women printmakers of the WPA at the Baltimore Museum of Art through June 30th. General admission is free. And for more information, you can visit the museum's website. I'm Robert Aubrey Davis, and to catch more of my Around Town Best Bets, be sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching. For more Around Town Best Bets, visit us online at weta.org slash bestbets.